Our third reading is taken from Evangelia Gaudium, The Joy of the Gospel by Pope Francis. On delivering sermons. Personalizing the Word, Article 151. We are not, to, we are not asked to be flawless but to keep growing and wanting to grow as we advance along the path of the Gospel. Our arms must never go slack, grow slack. What is essential is that the preacher be certain that God loves him, that Jesus Christ has saved him and that his love has always the last word. Encountering such beauty he will often feel that his life does not glorify God as it should, and he will sincerely desire to respond more fully to so great a love. Yet, if he does not take time to hear God's word with an open heart, if he does not allow it to touch his life, to challenge him, to impel him, and if he does not devote time to pray with the word, then he will indeed be a false prophet, a fraud, a shallow impostor. But by acknowledging his poverty and desiring to grow in his commitment, he will always be able to abandon himself to Christ, saying in the words of Peter, I have no silver or gold, but what I have, I give you. The Lord wants to make use of us as living, free and creative beings who let his word enter their own hearts before then passing it on to others. Christ's message must truly penetrate and possess the preacher, not just intellectually, but in his entire being. The Holy Spirit, who inspired the Word today, just as the beginning of the Church, acts in every evangelizer who allows himself to be possessed and led by him. The Holy Spirit places on his lips the words which he could not find by himself. Here ends our third reading. Thanks, please, Father.